curry on rice. Oh my gosh, gamers, that was the best Nintendo Direct we've ever... Well, I mean, it was it was an amazing Nintendo Direct. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty good Nintendo Direct. <laughs> okay, as you can tell, I'm hyped up. I'm always really hyped up at these Directs for, for many multiple of reasons. Ready for some banjo! Oh, no. What? That's exciting! Yes! Here's my moment! Can we get curry on rice for Smash, please? But also, I just love Nintendo, and I love Directs, and I love the excitement that builds up around them, and I would have done a predictions video if I had time. Nintendo only dropped this on our laps yesterday that this thing was happening. And even though a lot of people managed to get out predictions videos, I was kind of left fumbling around like, I don't know. I... And then I really started thinking about, like, why? Why do I not really care? Why am I excited for this, but I just don't care or really want to see anything? And I think I realized it's because no one's really been asking for a Direct. Like, everyone loves Directs, everyone gets hyped up for Directs, but we don't really need one right now. Do you remember a few months back, maybe even six months ago, when it felt like we were in a Direct drought, and we had no idea when any of these big games like Pokemon and Luigi's Mansion Animal Crossing were coming, and we were just sat there twiddling our thumbs with our Switches, waiting to know what we were gonna buy this year? Well, we suffered through that, and we got our Direct, and we got E3, and we were given all the information we need, and now there is, it seems like, too much coming out. So no one was really clamoring for a direct, no one was asking for it, and I really don't feel like anyone needed it. Did we all want one? <laughs> Did we, do we all appreciate getting one? Oh yeah, of course, Nintendo, don't stop them. So let's talk about it. <laughs> was it the best direct? No. Was it the most exciting? No. But was it filled with a lot of really cool announcements and things we can look forward to? No, yes, <laughs> that one's a yes. Let's get started. Oh wait, if you're new around here, make sure you smash that like button and hit flip on that subscribe button because we are most likely going to finally pass that beautiful 700,000 subscriber mark sometime here in the next 24 hours and it means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And I do want to say that I put a video up this morning. The entire video is like 10 minutes straight of us just laughing and having a great time and I really don't want you to miss it. Also giving away a Nintendo Switch in that video so if you want to know how to enter you're gonna have to watch it. Okay so the direct started and Nintendo knew that the beans had been spilled on Overwatch. Someone leaked a Nintendo Switch Overwatch themed case like two weeks ago at this point so yeah, we knew Overwatch was on the way, and here it is. It's still gonna be really good for the Switch. I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. Some might suggest that I could possibly get addicted to it. But regardless, Overwatch releases five days after my birthday on October 15th. Now, the two things we knew we were gonna see going into this Direct was Luigi's Mansion and Pokemon, and weirdly, we didn't really get much on either of those. Uh, Luigi's Mansion just showed us a bunch of what I feel like I already knew and have seen before. Doesn't mean I hated it, I'm so excited excited for that game and you can throw it in my face as many times as you want. I didn't learn anything new other than learning that I'm still excited for this game, but I knew that already. <laughs> then we got our first shadow drop for the event. Nintendo always likes to just announce things coming out on the same day and that was Kirby Clash thing. But uh, I'm sure Ant Dude was really excited. <laughs> what did I say? I said it. I said a new Kirby game and no one was, no one believed me. Then they showed us the Trials of Mana remake. But I think they were actually announcing it for Switch. And somehow, I assumed this whole time it was coming to Switch. So I've been excited for that. I'm glad it is happening. <laughs> then during the next game, 3909, my Nintendo Direct livestream that I was watching decided to just shut down. The I don't know what happened there, so I kind of missed that one. Game Freak's new game, Town, finally got a full name, Little Town Hero. I'm starting to real- or I think I'm starting to realize that this game isn't really going to be that big of an adventure. It all takes place in the same little town, and you have to defend it with RPG battles, kind of similar to Pokemon battles. And that's available six days after my birthday, so I'm going to have a busy birthday week. People were pretty sure that Banjo was going to shadow drop today during the Direct. I'm really not surprised that it was today. What did surprise me a little bit though, of everything you have to pull from, you have two characters left. I'm still really hoping one is Waluigi. You gotta, you gotta take a Neo Geo character. 
Uh, but they did. They did this whole animation that was actually pretty cool going through all these different characters and who's it gonna be and then Terry picks it up and blah, 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 Terry and Smash. I wasn't disappointed in the character itself and I try not to be disappointed in these things in general because I gotta remember there's a lot of people that love a lot of different things so I didn't care about it not being a character of my preference. I cared more that it was another slot taken up and we only have one slot left and the chance of it being Waluigi or someone that I would really care about was diminishing. So that for me was like eh. But then, <laughs> they announced that they're making more DLC characters. They didn't say how much, at least I don't think they've said how many more they're making, but that it's not just gonna be this five. They really made it seem like this whole time that was gonna be it, and I was fine with that, because that's what, like 85 characters? What does that bring it up to if they're gonna put in more? How much more are they doing? Five, 10, 15? Are we gonna have 100 characters in Smash? I could honestly see them trying to hit 100 characters in Smash. Then they went into some Link's Awakening that releases in like two weeks at this point, alongside the Switch Lite. Actually, I was really surprised they didn't touch on the Switch Lite at all during this direct. Then, no shock to no one, we got more Dragon Quest. To be fair, this game is really cool. I've been playing the demo recently. You can download a 10 hour demo of this game. It looks great, it plays fantastically, and all your progress gets transferred over to the actual game when you get it. There was a load of rumors I was hearing, a lot of predictions for another Wii U game to get ported over during this direct, and I wouldn't have minded Tokyo Mirage Sessions. And we're getting Tokyo Mirage Sessions. <laughs> That's fine, it's actually a, it's a good game. I wouldn't say great. Maybe I'll change my mind on a second playthrough. It's been a long time since I've played it. I am sick of these somewhat Persona franchises being on Switch, but not the actual Persona 5, even though we have a Persona 5 character and representation in Smash Brothers, but it's fine. Deadly Premonition 2 is a game I know nothing about, so I can't really talk on it, other than the fact that I know RGT85 was super excited for this one, so I hope he lost his mind. Doom 64 was rumored to be coming a Switch, and here it is. No surprise, we already have the first three games, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal on the way to the Switch. The Switch is literally doomed at this point, and another one is coming. <laughs> and then we got what was for sure the strangest thing about this Direct. So they highlighted this Direct was gonna feature 40 minutes of Nintendo content, including Luigi's Mansion and Pokemon. Look, Luigi's Mansion didn't really wow the pants off anyone, it was more of the same awesomeness. And then we get to Pokemon, a game that you would have Imagine is really big. There's a lot of features we don't know about it yet, and they said they were gonna highlight four features from the new Pokemon game that we don't know about. Okay, that's exciting, that's fun. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be the start of Pokemon's evolutions? Is it gonna be some cool new gameplay mechanic? Well, the first one is um, you can customize your avatar. Just like every other Pokemon game. The next one was that you can go camping with your Pokemon. That's fine. It's cute. The third feature they decided to highlight was curry on rice. Third, curry on rice. You heard that right, curry, curry on rice. All the things that go into Pokemon games, all the things you could talk about, gigamaxing, all of that, like evolutions, you decided to focus one of your four things Curry with rice. <laughs> curry on rice smash confirmed. Of curry. curry on rice huh? for Smash. Can we get curry on with? rice for Smash, please? I don't know why that's so funny for me. And then the final thing was actually a feature I'm down to hear about. New Pokemon. There was a couple of new ones. I didn't mind either of them. The bird looking thing looked so stupidly derpy, but in the best way. Cosmetic changes and curry on rice is what they decided to tell us. Fine. Now we talked about this, you and I had a conversation. I don't really ever bring rumors or leaks to the table in a video unless I'm pretty sure that they're real SNES games coming online because we found a pattern. Well, I didn't find it. I had nothing to do with it. A pattern was found online for a SNES controller for Switch. Why else make that unless you're putting Super Nintendo games on the system? Also, it just lined up perfectly. Right now in September, it's like a year since Nintendo Online launched. A lot of people are sat around having paid for this thing for the entire year, wondering why they paid for it for the entire a year and Nintendo want to give those people a reason to keep buying it for the next year and that reason is Super Nintendo games. The question was what games would we get and how many would there be? I was sort of thinking maybe they'll throw five, ten at the most and then start trickling some others. Uh, no, as of like I think right now, tomorrow, I think it's tomorrow, really soon, 20. Is it a party chat? No. Is it a messaging system? No. Is it any kind of improvement to the online? No. But we get more games that we won't play, so that's great.
Also, Tetris 99 got a big update with a bunch of free extra DLC. The thing that I really like is now you can do daily challenges and earn rewards like skins, which that's cool. A bunch of paid DLC and then a, a physical. Yes, they're giving Tetris 99 the free to play game physical release. I think it comes with 12 months of the online service and all the paid DLC, so it does make sense. And I'm excited for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not, but it's weird to see. Then they rolled out in their classic montage of games like they do right before the end. It actually announced a few games too, just in this montage. Witcher 3 we already know about, but they announced games like Assassin's Creed 4 and Assassin's Creed Rogue. And if you never played Rogue, it was actually a good Assassin's Creed game. I like 4 as well. Also, I saw Devil May Cry 2 in there. My least favorite Devil May Cry, but at least it means we're getting closer to the best one, which is the third one. Then it dived into Animal Crossing, and that surprised me. It's still so far away. I thought they would have waited, but now we saw some more of Animal Crossing Minecraft Edition. Sadly, you can't make curry on rice in Animal Crossing. You'll have to stick to Pokemon for all your curry on rice needs. Curry on rice? Then, then, then! <laughs> Another... Okay, this... All right, how do I phrase this? Um... We are finally getting a fantastic Xenoblade game on the Switch! <laughs> finally! Finally! A good Xenoblade game on Switch. Who knew? That's exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, it's the good Xenoblade! And then, unless I missed something, that was the entire event. Super smash like on this video if you liked the direct, or my video, or even if you hated both. Just smash like anyway. I think it was good. I think it was a good, solid event direct. Sure, there were some really cool announcements that it was good to see Nintendo confirm them, but they were all but confirmed already, which kind of took the fun out of it. And then a couple of actual surprises like new DLC characters coming to Smash and Xenoblade. So was it the biggest roller coaster of a direct? Was it the best direct we've ever had? Was it a direct we really even needed? No. <laughs> But I still think it was really good, and I still had a really great time. This is probably the most exciting time to have a Nintendo Switch-focused channel, as it's around Direct. So I appreciate you guys giving me this platform to just kind of gush about the things that I love. Hey, flip on that subscribe button! And once you leave here, right now, actually, right now, please click on this video. Or just go and watch the first video I uploaded today. It's really fun, a lot of effort into it, it's great, fantastic. It's special. Here's a clip from it. Okay, bye. Wasn't there a time where you justified saying Mario because you said I say it Mario? Yes. <laughs> and I don't say no, it Mario. You, you kind of do. I do, oh, I you do say not. It. You can have an Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs>